in this tutorial i'm going to go over exam number two i already posted the grade for exam number two those of you who think that you did not do well in exam number two uh, I'm, I'm going to make a deal with you i already posted exam number three on the google classroom right the exam going to be on this friday so those of you who did not do well in exam two use this as an opportunity right take the exam three at home today tomorrow sunday monday tuesday wednesday and thursday as many times as you possibly can if you do get 100 in exam number three i will replace your exam two score with 100 that's the deal just get 100 in exam three and that would be the grade for your exam two i think this is a good deal all right so let's go over exam number two uh, make sure that you understand oh, also exam number three being it print it being it monday ask me as many questions as you possibly can this is how you can learn this is how you can score high but always pay attention to the bigger picture and that is the learning physics you always i'm going to give you a million opportunity to move forward with 100 as long as you want to right so let's go over exam number two our convention is this is north this is south this is east and this is west means positive west means negative north means positive and south means negative acceleration due to gravity we're going to symbol uh, lowercase g for acceleration due to gravity and we're going to use negative 10 meter per second square today tomorrow next 10 months next 10 years when you when you do bachelor degree in physics phd in physics you're still going to use negative 10 meter per second square when you do research in physics then probably you're going to use negative 9.81 meter per second square good all right so the problem number one an object moves so let's draw a path right this is one dimensional path okay an object an object moves 90 meter to the waist right uh, this is 0 meter this is 10 meter to the waist an object moves 90 meter to the waist right okay good and then object turn around 30 meter to the east so this is object final position right uh, so we want to do a few things uh, we want to do number one uh, distance we want to do distance so the distance is uh, i'm going to find the distance distance is you can say d1 plus d2 of course d1 uh, you can make this one the d2 uh, green right you can always make d2 green so i'm going to make d2 green and i'm going to make d1 red d1 red all right so the red one as you know that 90 right and distance can never be negative so this is 90 so i'm going to write 90 meter and i'm going to write plus and the green one of course i'm going to see 30 and i'm going to write 30 so 30 meter so 90 meter 30 meter is 120 meter right so i'm going to write 120 meter and that's the final answer number one is 100 20 meters and that is the total distance distance is 120 meter now the next thing we're going to do uh, is displacement so pay attention to displacement displacement you have to pay attention to uh, magnitude this is the magnitude and you also has have to pay attention to what do you call it the direction so since the rate is to the west rate is not 90 red is actually negative 90 meter right pay attention to this and since green is to the east green is to the east and red is to the west green is to the east so green we're going to say positive of course positive 30 meter so negative 90 meter plus positive 30 meter is negative 60 meter so answer to question number two is of course answer to question number two is displacement is equal to negative 60 meter now finally uh, now the next thing we're going to do the speed now let's do a speed over here the speed 
the speed is distance over time over time so the total distance we know that total distance is this the speed is a scalar quantity so this is a scalar quantity so we have to use uh, the scalar quantity to find another scalar quantity which is the speed so distance is 120 meter and the time is I gave you two minutes the total whole tree is two minute however two minute is not SI unit so you have to convert two minute to 120 second so you're gonna write 120 second right so you have one meter per second you don't have to write anything else you don't have to write the direction because this is a speed so number three the speed is one meter per second number four of course you're gonna find the velocity right average velocity average velocity is velocity is the vector quantity so we have to use the vector quantity displacement over time so what is the total displacement total displacement is negative 60 meter and the time is 120 120 what 120 second so you have negative 0 0.5 meter per second so your answer is of course number four negative 0 0.5 meter per second uh, yeah that's fine okay so this is your problem number one now we're going to go to the problem number two problem number two i gave you a simple thing i put you on the rooftop of brooklyn tech so you are on the brooklyn tech you are on the rooftop of brooklyn tech right and i ask you to drop something i ask you to drop a a a, a, a a tennis ball right I ask you to draw a tennis ball at two location all right so this is your location this is your this is your location this is the rooftop rooftop so this is your location zero so at zero at zero meter and at four meter this is one meter this is two meter three meter as four meter so at four meter right okay you have to write negative four meter or you have to write four meter down okay at two location i want you to find a few things i want you to find uh the time so the time so i want you to find the time over here so time over here right uh i want you to find the velocity over here right and i also want you to find acceleration due to gravity over here I also want you to find when the, this ball is, when this same ball is now at actually 4 meter, right? 4 meter, so is, the ball is now here. I want you to find the time over here. Time over here. I want you to find the velocity over here. And I want you to find the acceleration over here, right? Okay. So, now I can move this thing over here so that it doesn't... Uh, 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 so it doesn't it doesn't get crowded with uh, other information okay good the time is zero over here because you have uh, is is still is it still you holding the ball yet you you haven't released the ball yet right so is it still of course zero second the velocity also zero meter per second acceleration due to gravity is negative 10 meter per second in square why is that because acceleration due to gravity is i cannot stress it enough acceleration due to gravity is always negative 10 it doesn't depend on what you do what you not to do if you holding the ball acceleration due to gravity is the same as you releasing the ball acceleration due to gravity is constant that's what constant means constant means it doesn't change it doesn't depend on what you do what you not to do it doesn't depend on your behavior you have no control over acceleration due to gravity even if you don't do anything even if you like uh, uh, throwing ball up and down and the acceleration, uh, uh, acceleration acceleration due to gravity would be the same as if a ball is sitting on the table it's the same thing okay good because it's constant t over here how can we find the t uh, to find the t is is very simple the equation is we use many times d is equal to v i t plus half a t squared of course since you're dropping it since you're dropping it uh, this uh, this has to be uh, initial velocity when you drop object this is zero this is negative four is equal to half negative 10 acceleration due to gravity is negative 10 
and uh, t square, right? t square. So this is 5, right? So now you have, you essentially have negative 4 is equal to negative 5 t square, right? Negative, negative cancel. So you have 5 t square is equal to 4, right? So uh, let's, let's bring it over here, um, okay? So then you have t squared, you have t squared is equal to 4 over 5, all right? So t squared is 4 over 5, so you can do 4 divided by 5, which is 0 0.8. So t squared is 0 0.8. And if you take the square root of 0 0.8, and that gives you 0 0.89, so t is 0 0.89, okay? All right, so that's your t over here, 0 0.89. Second, of course, do not forget to write second. If you do forget to write second, you're going to lose point. The velocity, so what is the velocity? So we're going to use the equation for the velocity. Uh, you, rem we rem you remember we're using vf is equal to vi plus at, right? When you drop object, of course, and the, the initial velocity is zero. Velocity over here would be negative 10, and you just put the time. The time is 0 0.89, all right? So the final velocity would be 8.9 meter per second to the down, okay? So velocity is negative 8.9 meter per second. Good. Acceleration due to gravity is exactly the same as over here. So you're just going to write negative 10 meter per second square. I already explained acceleration due to gravity. Hopefully, I don't have to explain it anymore. Problem number three, again, I put you on the top of the Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn Tech, right? So I put you on the, on the top of the Brooklyn Tech. So this is, uh, this is the rooftop of the Brooklyn Tech. And this is, let's say, this is the ground. This is the ground, right? And you are, uh, you are dropping a ball. You are dropping a ball. Uh, well, not dropping a ball, throwing up a ball. You are throwing a, throwing a ball. If you do throw a ball, it creates a parabola because projectile motion is a parabola. So it creates a parabola. This is the path of the ball. Hopefully this looks like a parabola. Now, if I put an X and Y axis, hopefully that will convince you that this looks like a parabola. Hopefully, it convinced you this look like a parabola. So this is your y-axis. This is your x-axis. All right. Okay, good. Now, the parabola has, of course, a vertex. Uh, and the ball, at some moment, going to be at the vertex, right? The, the same ball would be uh, some moment on the vertex. The same ball, some moment, going to be at the end of the parabola. And this ball, at some moment of the time, is going to be on the ground, of course. So... Now, since we have some location, we're going to call this is location 1. We're going to call this is location 2. We're going to call this is location 3. And we're going to call this is location 4. So far, so good. Now, each and every location, I'm going to make it smaller. Each and every location, we're going to find uh, the time. So this location, location 1, we're going to find T1 and V1. We're going to find T2 and V2. We're going to find T3 and v3 you're going to find t4 right here so right here t4 t4 and v4 uh, this one has a name this one has a name this is right before this ball hitting the ground if this is a ground this ball would be right here before the hitting hitting before it does hit the ground okay how much it is above the ground well point 0 0.0000001 meter above the ground. This is what we call impact velocity. Impact velocity means an object. How the speed that object colliding with something, right? In this case, the object colliding with the ground. When the object colliding with the ground, object colliding with the ground with some velocity, and that's what the impact velocity. Impact velocity has another name, maximum velocity. That's the maximum velocity. This is, there is a velocity here, there is a velocity here, there is a, there is a velocity on this trajectory every single point. However, the impact velocity is the maximum velocity, is the maximum velocity of the object. So 
Just keep that in mind. In the other test, I'm going to probably ask you what is the maximum, what location the object has the maximum velocity. At T4, the object has the maximum velocity. Okay. At what time the object has impact velocity? Well, at T4, object has the impact velocity. So those things are important. Now, let's find a few things what we can get free. I gave you the initial velocity. Let's call initial velocity is V1 and that is uh, 15 meter per second. Okay. So 15 meter per second. However, once you know that this is T1, are we going to call T initial, which is T1 is 0 second. Okay. Then you know the V2, of course, V2 is 0 because when you throw a ball in the, do we have a ball? You throw anything in the air all right when it changes the direction for example this calculator when it did change the direction at that time for a fraction of a second the velocity has to be zero otherwise it would never be changing the direction if you do really watch it carefully you will see that it changes the direction because it come to stop it has to come to stop otherwise it cannot change the direction okay so we understand that so this has to be velocity zero now by symmetry because this is a parabola this velocity has to be negative 15 if that velocity this velocity is positive 15 this velocity has to be negative 15 so we from from get go we're gonna write uh, we're gonna write negative 15 over here so you're gonna write I'm gonna put this x over here so it doesn't get crowded I'm gonna write negative 15 over here meter per second okay so far so good now these are the information we know we don't have our access to other information unless we do the math. So let's start the math. We want to know the impact time. So impact time would be, so impact time, impact, impact time. So let's find the impact time. To do the impact time, of course, this is projectile motion uh, creates parabola, right? So this is a parabola, parabolic motion. So we have to use the equation for the parabola and that is from the reference table phase number 6 d is equal to vit vit plus half a t square right now if you want to put the arrow that's fine if you don't want to put the arrow that's also fine if you want to say this this would be g that's even better because this is uh this is the notation we're going to use for acceleration because it's in free fall and what type of free fall is this one? It's showing up. Okay, so the D we know, I gave you D is 20 meter. Why D is 20 meter? Because you are over here throwing a ball up. If you were over here throwing a ball over here to the up, then D would be positive. Since you are over here, they are not over here, then of course D would be negative 20 meter. So you want to write negative 20 over here. And you want to write velocity initial, which I give you 15t, and then um, plus half negative 10, which is acceleration due to gravity. I ask you to use negative 10 today, uh, and you're going to be using you're going to be using negative 10 without any exception. 5 5 t squared. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm going to move everything to the left. So 5 t squared uh, minus 15 t plus minus 20 is equal to 0. This you don't have to use quadratic formula. You can factor it out. So 5t squared minus 20t plus 5t minus 20 is equal to 0. This is what I learned long time ago in second grade or third grade. So how, how do you do that? Okay. So I told you that uh, uh, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, right? Uh, a is 15, a, a is 5, A is 5, B is what? B is negative 15 and C is uh, negative 20. So quadratic formula tells us that the, the, the when you A times C, right? A times C, A times C would be what? 100. A times C would be negative 100, right? So when you multiply A times C, you get negative 100, right? So the, the sum, the, the, the middle factor, the, 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 the product of these two, the product of these two, the product of these two, product, product of these two has to be 100, right? Because A times C is 100, the A times C, absolute value of A times C is 100. So, so the, product, uh, the, the product of these two has to be 100. And the sum of these two has to be 
have to has to be 15 negative 15 so the sum of these two has to be negative 15 so negative 20 plus 5 is negative 15 sum of these two has to be negative 15 all right so watch this uh, tutorial carefully a few times as as many times as as needed to get this concept so now factor out factor out 5t so you have t minus uh, of course 4 plus 5 t minus 4 right you have 5t uh, plus 5 and you have t minus 4 right so t minus 4 is equal to 0 and t is equal to 4 the time is equal to 4 so impact time is 4 second right good that's the impact time so i'm going to erase it uh, however 5t plus 5 is not impact time because this is going to give you negative time and negative time doesn't exist okay good so i'm going to erase everything because i don't need it so in, since we have the impact time we can find the impact velocity how this is how so vf vf is equal to vf is equal to vi plus at right now uh, vf is location 4 so you're going to say look at location 4 uh, initial velocity initial velocity is 15 minus 10 acceleration due to gravity is 10 and t is of course 4 t can never be negative t is a scalar quantity so v4 is equal to 15 minus uh, 40 15 minus 40 is of course negative 25 so your final answer would be this is negative 25 meter per second okay good the another question i ask you to give me i ask you to give me the impact velocity now we have found the impact velocity i ask you this is like 16 point and i ask you to give me the the time at the top right time at the top so how can you find the time at the top you just can't you have to find the time right here t3 once you find the t3 that gives you t2 so let's find the t3 how can we find the t3 well that's pretty simple vf is equal to vi plus at right so v at location 3 is equal to vi plus at and if you don't like this you can write always uh, gt right because we are talking about uh, free fall what type of free fall throwing up and then that means acceleration is the god made one which is a small lowercase g so you have to replace this one by lowercase g v3 you know that negative 15 v1 you know that positive 15 negative 10 t so you have negative 30 is equal to negative 10 t so negative negative cancel t is 3 by knowing that this t is 3 second you know this one this t is has to be uh, has to be 1.5 second right because this is symmetry and symmetry is um, is, is geometric uh, uh, ge the, the one of the property of symmetry is uh, that uh, that this would be if the whole thing is, takes the three minute then uh, then the vertex the the half of the things would take uh, 1.5 uh, okay so this was problem number three now I'm going to quickly go over problem number four problem number four I ask you to convert same problem same problem I ask you to convert it to the VT gap. So this is super easy to convert it to the VT gap. So I'm going over problem number four. This was problem number three. Problem number three, I ask you to only find two things, guys. I ask you to only find two things, and that is, uh, and that is uh, the impact velocity, and of course the time, uh, time, uh, time when uh, at the at the top of the parabola, or at the vertex or when the object changes the direction or at maximum height these all are the same thing so for problem four what i ask you i ask you to convert this uh, graph so this is uh, called dt graph right y is your d and the x is your t so this is called dt graph i ask you to convert the dt graph to a vt graph so okay, let's convert the dt graph to vt graph i'm not going to convert it to the scale uh, uh because uh, I, I cannot i cannot put the ruler over here however however we're going to prove the few things over here so i have three point i ask you to show me three point point number one oh, this one is come from right here so what is the point over here right the point is zero comma what zero comma 15 so i'm just going to write 15 over here 
or maybe I'll just write 0 comma 15 I, I I don't have problem to write 0 comma no I'm not gonna write 0 comma 15 I'm just gonna write the y-intercept in this case y-intercept is 15 because I do, I don't want to make it too much crowded I want to keep it uh, neat so this is uh, neg this is 15 however I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna list my point I'm gonna list my point point number one would be would be what 0 comma 15 0 comma 15 okay and point number two now I'm gonna write point number two this point number two this point number two right here is actually actually this one right this one all right so this one what time over there 1.5 so one uh, no uh, 1.5 so 1.5 1.5 comma zero right so this is I I'm gonna write one 1.5 that's it I don't want to write 1.5 comma zero because I don't want to make it too crowded now another point of course I'm gonna make another point this make it a little longer so that it doesn't get crowded that I'm going to call it uh, that I'm going to call it uh, this one right I'm going to call it this one I don't want to put this one you can put this one but I actually have that this is going up and this whole thing is going down so I have like two things going on only only two things not like that I have 50 things going on all right this is this is this is uh, this is going down all right so this is going down the yellow one is going down and the red one is going up so that's it so this is the red one and this is the yellow one okay good now you see the color color coding if you don't see yellow uh, yeah you do see yellow okay good now point three point three I'm gonna write point three I'm gonna write of course I'm gonna write uh, over here this would be my impact velocity which is negative 25 negative 25 and this is my impact time which would be 4 so I'm not gonna I'm gonna write over here I'm gonna write the 4 comma negative 25 so my my three point are there very good now I want to find the distance what I know about the distance I know the distance this is velocity versus time graph so absolute value of this gonna give me the distance that's that's it very simple so this is this is the distance the sum of okay so this is this plus this is the distance okay very simple very simple okay okay so now uh, now let's find this this is uh, my this is uh, this is my this is my d1 uh, this is displacement displacement one and this is displacement 2 this would be the area area is half bh right because this is a triangle so area and the name of the area is of course d uh, so we're gonna write d name of the area is displacement half b is uh, 3 over 2 because it's one half uh, well is 1.5 and h is 15 all right so this is displacement red one is 11.25 meters now let's find the other one let's find the other one this one this one is also half bh right so half b is 4 minus 1.5 which is uh, 2.5 height is uh, negative 25 this is negative 31.25 right okay so come back over here so d1 is 11.25 11.25 plus d2 is negative 31.25 right so distance is 11.25 plus 31.25 so distance is 42.5 meters that's the distance okay so we found the distance distance is 42.5 meters you don't have to mention any like west or east because distance is a scalar now we're going to find the displacement how are we going to find the displacement well so simple displacement is red minus yellow so displacement displacement would be red red minus yellow okay so red is uh, how much red is uh, red is 11.25 minus yellow is how much uh, 31.25 31.25 and hopefully that is negative 20 hopefully that is 
hopefully that is negative 20 okay so negative 20 displacement is displacement is negative 20 meters right the last one uh, the this this one this one moving to the west right this track is this this track is how long this track is uh, i believe um, 3.5 meter right uh, this track is 3.5 meter and this is moving to the west so uh, so let's see let's move to the west and I'm gonna make it moving to the west All right. so if it is moving to the west it's accelerating to the west right It's accelerating to the west now uh, I want you to draw uh, six different graphs all right so let's draw it let's draw it number six let's draw it uh, a cart accelerates so this is remember this is west this is east so a cart accelerates from east to the west right and I want you to find uh, displacement versus time velocity versus time acceleration versus time right distance versus time speed versus time and absolute value of acceleration versus time pretty simple right okay this is just like a parabola this one doesn't exist why is that because negative time doesn't exist so this is this doesn't exist okay so now this one velocity is okay velocity is initially zero over here velocity was zero over here and velocity is maximum over here and the end, end of the track velocity is max here so velocity is zero over here and velocity is max over here right velocity is max over here okay good what is, what is the slope of uh, a quadratic uh, a diagonal line what is the slope of a diagonal line of course a linear negative a horizontal negative below the x why is that because this is this has a negative slope okay very good now we're going to want to take, take the absolute value of this one what is the absolute value if you take the absolute value of this one absolute value of this one would be this what is the other side of the parabola it doesn't exist because there is no negative time what is the absolute value of this one what is the absolute value of this one okay you guess it it's in the first quadrant what is the absolute value of this one okay of course you guessed it is in the first quadrant again all right good and that was the test that i gave you uh, those of you know so many students got 100 in the test and uh, i spoke with some some people some students they got 100 because they took the test at home few times they printed the test and they bring it to the class and they ask me the question so exam 3 i already told you that i'm going to make a deal and that is if you get 100 in exam 3 then your exam 2 would be replaced by that score i give you 100 for exam 2 okay so what i want you to do take the exam 3 today tomorrow sunday monday tuesday Wednesday and Thursday and bring it on Monday ask me a few questions bring it on Tuesday ask me a few questions bring it on Wednesday ask me a few questions bring it on Thursday ask me a few questions take it as long as you don't get 100 this is how you can get nobody gonna give you this deal take this deal this is this is how I'm gonna I'm gonna allow you to move forward with 100 as long as you want 